Hi everybody, welcome back to Tam Predicts. This is another reading. This is your love reading. What's going to happen in the next 48 hours? There are three piles. Pile number one is blue. White rose is pile number two. And uh, the cone is uh, pile number three. So this is uh, their current feelings of what's going to happen in the next 48 hours. What can you expect? What are they thinking? What are you thinking? Uh, what will happen in this relationship? Next 48 hours, uh, what are the messages? Is he going to call you? Is she going to call you? Or what are they going to say? So everything that I can pick up I've got different uh, decks. I've also got the Romance Angel decks and I've got my Everyday Witch Tarot and the Angels deck and the Zodiac Sign decks. I'll see, I'll shuffle live and we'll keep getting answers. So people who've chosen pile number one, firstly, uh, this is pile number one blue. Welcome to my channel, Time Predicts. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. I'm a psychic. I'm a white witch. I do spells and uh, I'm guided by my spirit guides, my archangels, and my ascended masters. Let's see what are the messages, what can I tell you, all the love messages that you were waiting for, what's going to happen next 48 hours, if they're crucial for you, if you wanted answers. Let's see what's the first question. In the near future, so either you're going to get the answer in the near future, in the near future could also be 48 hours. There's something you're waiting for an answer and you're going to get it in the near future. Something's going to happen in the new, near future. It is it is a kind of yes from my side. You know, that's what I get as a channel message. The angels are saying a yes to whatever question you had in your mind. Love question. I also feel you want to meet the person in, in within, within two days, you know. If you were wanting to meet the person within two days or if you wanted some answer within 48 hours, it's, it's going to happen. They're going to tell you how you're feeling. Ask your angels. Look at this. This card came flying in my hand. So probably you can pray, uh, connect with your the divine power that you believe in, but the angels have the answers and it's pretty much pretty much there. Look at this. The person is flying, you know, almost coming towards you, you know. I feel somebody is coming towards you. A call is coming towards you. A message is coming towards you. If there's been no communication, there will be communication. Just wait. That's another message. Just wait and it shall happen. You know, this is a waiting period for you. Wait patiently. Uh, do not uh, give up. Do not be impulsive. Uh, if it says wait, it means uh, it means wait for an answer. You know, do not make your own uh, you know decision without the person responding or telling you what to do or you know whatever the answer you were waiting for. Just wait, and the person will get in touch with you. Let's see who you could be dealing with, or if I could pick up your zodiac sign here. Let's see who could you be dealing with. I'm going to take out three cards. This came flying, so you could be dealing with a Libra. You could be a Libra waiting to balance the relationship, waiting for the other one to say something. It's going to happen in 48 hours. Communic I, I, I want you to, I want to say that you can expect communication within 48 hours. I really feel the other person is going to respond if you pick this pile up. You could be a Taurus, you could be a Libra, you could be dealing with a Taurus, uh, stubborn energy, but a very, uh, very loyal energy. The person is very loyal. It could be you, you could be the, it could be Gemini. So if you've chosen pile number one, it's Gemini. So I would say wait two days, you know, before uh, giving any verdict or uh, before cooking up stories in your head. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, you could be one of the signs or you could be dealing with a Taurus, Libra or Gemini or probably um, any of these signs in their charts. So that's what I feel. Let's see what are the other messages that I can give you. I'm using my everyday witch tarot. Let me clear the energies. So you're dealing with somebody who's fun. You're dealing with somebody who's born in May, probably April. Libra, you want to balance. I can see a lot of two Libra. It's like two, two people, you know, made for each other. Yeah, but some kind of differences. Purple is a very good color for you. So is navy blue. Probably you like navy blue. Probably uh, one of the person works for the navy. It's something to do with water, ships. The other person likes ships, yachts. Uh, Something to do with rafting, I'm getting all those words. But definitely getting together because I get two here. I get number two here. You could be number two. You could be number 12. I mean, you could be born on any of the dates. Or they could be born on any of the dates is what I get. You've been fighting, you know. You've been feeling that little things have been worrying you. You've been defending yourself in the fights. Um, that's why probably I said wait two days because you kind of, you know, it's like everything points back at you, you know, probably the person was accusing you of something and uh, holding you responsible for something. But next 48 hours, it's going to be, you know, you know, you, you're going to feel better because I, I, I feel the, uh, it's, it's just a small fight. It, these are just small fights that keep happening between you and you kind of, you know, uh, the energies. 
they did drive you up the wall you know and uh, it's like you got fed up of the fighting you got fed up of small things probably are you going to speak about it or it's going to be sorted it's like they're pointing fingers at you all the time and you're like you're always seeing what's wrong with me and you know you never talk about what's wrong with you or you know what you can do it's always about me it comes back to me these are the words that i get it comes back to me you're very generous you know you're very generous you like helping people next 48 hours i feel things are going to get sorted they're going to see you uh, they're going to see you as a very loving kind woman who helps people you know and they kind of I feel that this is a person you're dealing with who's going to really realize your true potential and you you know uh, or or is going to love you for who you are and they probably didn't recognize your uh, your love or the way you are and uh, and they made a mistake I feel the person you are with make made a mistake and they're going to recognize how good you are and you know how much you love them so kind of you know they know that you're precious in their life you love you love helping people very generous very generous that's that's what i love extremely generous i feel a new beginning happening here for some of you if you are married and you're seeing this i feel a baby coming along you know on the way you could be conceiving which is seriously very generous is what i get you know you have this uh, the way you mother them or the way you care for them you know it's like a very motherly feeling they get and and they love that and and they miss you that those are the words so they want to reach out to you they are going to say how much they love you and they made a mistake of letting you go you know this, this is a general reading so it could be for one of you or the words that i'm getting could be for one of you you know what you must have spoken you got to do well next 48 hours you know it's kind of confidence in yourself money situation is fine so uh, it's not that you you will be busy making money but you're not going to ignore the person you are with remember that you take you know you really take care of them you know even if you are busy making money and you know you have to multitask but you always take care of the other person and i i, I i'm saying it again and again when i say things again and again as a psychic uh, i have to give the message because these are channel messages then it's it's kind of somebody recognizing your potential and coming back you know sometimes you uh you have to be on that break to understand you know what the other person means to you or you know you uh, you do not give them much credit but this is somebody recognizing uh, your worth you know and and coming back to you is what i get i, I really get this let's see what the romance angel cards say romance angel cards let's see what are they saying what are the messages what messages can i give you next 48 hours i definitely get communication let's see what are the messages here i definitely get communication unrequited love see this what happened you deserve more love and the other person did not give you love and I, this is understanding your worth and you were fed up of you know just loving the person all the time giving the person all your love and you were getting nothing back and i think you stepped back somewhere or you you kind of said you know let's be on a break and you uh unless you understand my worth or you know you know how much i love you because i'm not getting anything back i'm not going to be back with you so this is this is you and they they will i mean they they are in that realization stage where they realize what they've lost that's another thing that i get this is your soulmate remember i said it's all about two here twin flame soulmate so you could be seeing one 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 quite a lot you could see, you could be seeing triple two or double two quite a lot but definitely two is a is a big theme here big big thing here you know and uh, you are meant to be together and uh, the other person will recognize your worth and this is your soulmate so that's why you know even if you fight you always get back together but this is you have to go away for them to realize you know uh, uh, that um, who you are and how precious they are uh, precious you are in their life remember one thing to let go of control issues even if they come back or this could be for one of you you know in the relationship so next 48 hours just just take care of these any control issues that you have with the person or is there any problem with the person do not control uh, the uh, relationship and you deserve love look at this it's i'm going to take this at the end of the deck this is past life again this is so much soulmate energy and you deserve love 
and here you have what's waiting for so remember we got that wait card so this is what's waiting for so if you made your decision of giving up the other person just wait for two three more days i get two more days because we're doing next 48 hours and i think they're important for you because you do deserve love and that's what you've been telling them that you know i deserve love but i think in wait two ways before you make any major decision this could be just for one of you because remember this is not a general reading but i could be picking up energies or words that you're going to say or were said or you had them in your mind this is definitely a past life relationship i mean this is you being so comfortable but let go of control issues maybe uh you know in their defense I, I i could just say you know probably you had control issues and you were controlling it all too much and you know the other person could have stepped back but this is something worth waiting for and you know whoever was in the wrong suddenly realized what they did and you know they they want to make up in the whole thing and they they want to say sorry probably it's you who want to say sorry because you probably had control issues but if anything you know before doing anything just remember this card wait wait patiently and things will be fine because you want to get your answers in the next 48 hours so this was the reading for uh, people who have chosen blue let's move on to the white rose this is pile number two if you've chosen the white rose the white rose these are your messages so what the person is thinking, the person you're in love with, are they going to call? If they block you, what are they feeling? Sometimes, you know, it's difficult to tell what they're feeling, what's on their mind, what do they want in the relationship. So let's see what all I can answer. For people who are new to my channel, I'm a psychic, I'm a medium, and I'm an intuitive tarot reader. I'm a white witch, and uh, I'm guided by my spirit guides, my archangels, and my ascended masters. So let's see what all love messages I can give you. This looks pretty white and red. Maybe you like white and red. Maybe you, you are wearing the combination of white and red or you are you love red. The the channel message that I get before I begin is it's somebody wanting peace in the relationship. Okay, that's what I feel, you know. Let's see what the angels are saying. Trust, yes. If you trust the person, it will bring you peace. Maybe your peace is going away because you do not know whether to trust the person or not. So maybe that's your answer. You got to trust someone and that's how it's going to be peaceful. Otherwise, you're never going to get the peace. Next 48 hours. It's not about trusting the person next 48 hours because this is a reading about next 48 hours, what's going to happen. But I think trust is going to be a big issue or a big theme, you know. Maybe the whole um, reading is about trust, how you need to trust them. It's important to trust them. Within the next few months, so things are going to settle down. You're going to get your answers within the next few months. Maybe next 48 hours, they're going to say that, you know, next few months are critical for you, important for you in the relationship, or something's going to happen. I also feel a commitment coming in the next few months, or a major decision made by you next few months. I mean, you both together. So there is a major decision coming up. I know what you're going to decide, because this is a general reading, but definitely a big, big decision that you guys have to make see it's up to you it's also you want to trust the person or not it's up to you you know how you see the relationship how you see whatever's happened so if this if trust is becoming an issue it's up to you uh, to manage to see things properly you know and uh, not just to mistrust uh, j just for the sake of it or without any evidence so you got to keep the trust remember i said peace peace is very important here and it's up to you how you want to make peace with it maybe the person did deceive you and you want back to them and you know it's still not peaceful for you because you're like once a cheater, always a cheater, you know. So you being not being able to trust, though you're trying, you know, you're rising uh, beyond what you can, uh, you know, you're thinking or you're being extra generous or forgiving. But even if you went back, this is like next 48 hours, this might trouble you, you know. Can I trust the person again? Or this is, you know, uh, why, why am I mistrusting the person? Or they didn't give me any reason. So don't do anything without evidence. Maybe next 48 hours you have to take a decision. You found out something and you're like, let me, let, give me two days, give me three days, give me four days. I get four days also. So it could be next four days. I told you, see, I'm shuffling the cards and I have not seen it. Peaceful resolution. So if trust was a problem, I told you before I started, I, I really feel blessed when when you know um what i'm thinking and how the cards come out and you know for the pile and you know white meant peace to me and this this is peace
see this peaceful resolution guys so the spirit guides were directing me right over giving me the right channel messages this is whoever chose pile number two there will be peaceful resolution whatever just or it, this trust could be just trust the divine you know trust the angels to give you the answer because uh, things will go right it's just two days look at the rainbow of happiness happy feeling I mean, whatever went wrong next 48 hours, it's it's going to be resolved. A tiff, a fight, uh, you know, probably any miscommunication or if bridges were burnt, anything, you know, or if you didn't understand the person person's intention and you did fight or any anything, you know, I feel really peaceful. Resolution is it's beautiful, guys. Wait for answers. Wait for answers before doing anything because peace will come to you. See success, this is beautiful, this is love. Any love situation that you were thinking about is failing or anything that you wanted, this is such a positive card. This is success in love. In anything, probably if you wanted the other person to commit, it, it's any anything, you know, um, anything related to love, you know. If you had in your mind, does the person love me or will the person ask me out, will the person commit, it's, it's all a big yes for me. Let's see who are you dealing with or let's see if I can just see which sun sign you belong to, zodiac signs. I'm going to take three cards out. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You're a Scorpio here. I get a lot of green. Green could be healing also because green is, a, I, I feel it's a color of healing and, you know, it's all about healing. So there is Pisces, a lot of water energy. Are you are you uh, dealing with water or, you know, it, it could just be you're a water sign. I'm getting cancer again and again while I was shuffling. So either you're a Cancerian or the person is a Cancerian. The person you're dealing with is a Cancerian. So this is so beautiful. This is peaceful resolution. And I do not know. There's a lot of water here. Look at all three cards. Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer. Or probably the person you're dealing with is very emotional. Or you're very emotional about it. Or you're very emotional about the whole relationship. Or it's going to turn very emotional, you know. The other person could surprise you in a way that you'll feel very emotional. You know, it's almost tears of joy. That's another That's another message that I get. It's like tears of joy here. This is beautiful. I mean, uh, so much water. I mean, it's it's emotions flowing. A lot of communication back and forth, you know, it's like water flowing. It's it's going to be so easy. Communication is going to be so easy between you two. See what the romance angel cards are saying. Next 48 hours. Next 48 hours, a lot of emotions. Probably you both will get emotional about something <laughs> if you're talking or probably emotional over messages. But definitely, you know, it's like getting emotional. And definitely a water sign because all three are water signs, you know. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You probably love water. You live next to water. You love the beach. You love to cry. <laughs> I don't want to say cry, but... Or, or it's like soppy and you cry at a drop of a hat. Probably you see a movie and you just cry. Maybe that's how you are. Or the person you're dealing with is... Next 48 hours, it's worth waiting for. It's beautiful. Worth waiting for the person. So this is a beautiful relationship. Commitment all the way. I feel it's a serious relationship. The person is not just flirting or something. You know, yeah, there is attraction. There is passion. But it's it's kind of serious between you two. No matter how new or old, new or old the relationship is. It's beautiful. It's worth waiting for. And this is divine timing something. And if you were looking for new love, this is divine timing, you know. Uh, the person is going to uh, meet you very soon next 48 hours probably or probably you just met the person once or twice and the second meeting is going to happen in the next 48 hours but this is divine this is divine timing truly and if if things weren't going right something will happen you know and, and you'll feel so lucky that you know it was like divine intervention and things went right it's like almost the hand of god was there you know and he saved the relationship or whatever happened, you know, probably the way you met and whatever. It was like divine timing for you too. So forgive and learn in this relationship. Forgive and learn and stay together. That's a big message, you know. This is not a, this is not a pile where I would say, you know, things are not going right. You do not need to be with each other. I mean, I'll never say you do not need to be with each other. But if you're thinking in your mind, you know, that should be part ways. But I don't think 
this is this is because this is peaceful resolution remember so there's a lot of forgiving and learning so probably whatever happened is like an experience for you and you're going to move on and make it will make your relationship stronger you know it's not that it's going to break you but it's going to make your relationship stronger and this wanted to come out soulmate so soulmate connection here i get a lot of new love also that you're going to uh, meet someone pretty soon could be we just met someone you know like a day ago two days ago i mean is that that new but i get a new love also here but this is definitely learning from the relationship and growing together you know uh, saying your sorries and this is this is you deserve love this is this card came uh, in my hand before also but i didn't take it but i think because it's come out twice you deserve love and you will get love and you are lovable if you were thinking you know <laughs> i'm not lovable and you did not have confidence in yourself if you just met the person and you the person is really great nice looking and charming and you're like um uh you know am i any match for him or her but remember you deserve love and you are worth it i get that message you definitely are a lot of messages for pile two let's see what is what is the everyday witch tarot saying oh my god so many flying off can't take all these i'm using this deck after a long time I get a very young, young energy with this card. Either you're young at heart or you're around 27. I also get a 25. I get 32 also. You've given enough in the relationship. It's time to get back. Get something back. I feel you wanting. Maybe that's why you deserve love came out. Because you've done a lot or you're very giving. And you also expect a lot. You know, you expect the person to put in that much effort. This is a beautiful card. It's the magician. Uh, the mag magician has everything going uh, for, uh, uh, you know, f I can see for her, for him, whatever. Um, and I think you've got everything you wanted in love. You know, you've got all the magic potions, you know, to make this love work. And everything is right with the person. It's almost you've met the perfect match. I get somebody who's met, met their perfect match and you have everything. Uh, it's like uh, there's there's magic, you know, there's a lot of magic. You look at the cup, look at the swords, everything, you know. All, all the things are working in your favor is what I get. You know, that's why maybe there was a divine timing of sorts. The high priestess came reverse. So this is a reading for 48 hours. You're not really thinking about too much into the future, I get. Some of you have just met because this is new love. You're really not thinking about what's going to happen in the future. I think you're going with the flow. I mean, you find it so magical and you're like, let's see how it goes because it's so much new. So you're not really um, making any, you know, um, any... Uh, you're not thinking about what's going to happen a month after this or you know two months after this you you are kind of settled you know you're like I, i'll take it as it comes you know i i do not want to rush in or anything like that so um uh, that's another message that i get one more card yep queen of cups for some of you uh, you are expecting love back you know you probably are waiting for the other person to um uh, tell you or express themselves i think the person you are with is not so expressive so you keep wondering if the person really loves you but i feel this pile is all about commitment all about you know uh, stronger bonds uh, reconnecting making connections again and again with the same person even if you know you two are not similar but there is success in the relationship and next 48 hours is beautiful because you'll get a lot of yeses a lot of answers a lot of communication a lot of emotional moments beautiful romantic emotional moments is what i get remember i said a lot of yes and this is the card i saw i just saw this so it is it is yes i get a lot of yes for this pile you know things are right for this pile so you do not have to worry that was a beautiful reading let's go to the third one which is the cone let's see what are your love messages For people who are new to my channel, I'm a psychic medium and intuitive tarot reader and I'm guided by my sender master. So most of the time I'm giving you channel messages of what I get. So pile, in, uh, pile one and pile two were really different. Let's see what's pile number three saying. I get a lot of wood. I get a lot of earth because you've chosen this. I get spices. I get musk. Those are the words that I get. Prickly. Why do I get the word prickly? I mean, I mean little thorns in the... <laughs> A love relationship i mean little ups and downs let's see what the cards are be assertive of course so this is about being 
assertive in the relationship we've got the key you key to a loving relationship and also voice out what you feel express what you feel i feel in this in this one the other person might take you for a ride you know if you're not expressive it could be one party is dominating the other is not it's not that you both need to be dominating or dominating is maybe not really a great characteristic yeah but generally in, in a relationship one person is more dominating but I, I, I feel here, you know, um, be assertive. Otherwise, uh, you know, if you're trying to behave differently, if you're trying to behave too gentle, too kind, and the person, and you're not like that, and the person will take you like that, and, um, you know, you, you'll not feel good because you'll, the other person will dominate you. So, and I don't think you feel nice being domin getting dominated. So next 48 hours, be assertive. Not just 48 hours. I mean, forever, be assertive, you know. Assertive is not negative here again, but just, just voice out what you feel is what I get. I feel you do not get your way. You know, you always say yes and you're like, okay, you know, it doesn't matter. We'll do what you think or we'll go where you want to, you know. So you have to give, um, you have to tell the other person what you want or, you know, what you love doing and, you know, and not get, you know, dominated. So the answer is no. So the moment I, uh, you know, got this be assertive, this is, this is no in the sense you're asking yourself, will this work or not? I have a feeling some of you will ask, will this relationship work or not? Or does it be no to the answer that you wanted, you know? If you chose this pile and there was an answer, you, you've been getting troubled or probably you not, the relationship has not been balanced and you've probably been asking, is it is it worth it or should I continue? So if that was your question, the answer is here. Remember, this is a gen reading. I can only guide you. In the end, do what is right in the relationship and in the end, do what's right for you. Oh my God. So here are the angels giving you the answers. Pile number one and two were totally different. Pile number three is totally different. Be assertive. You're not being assertive. You're getting dominated. Yeah, I feel one of your shouts, you know, or the volume is really high and when you get angry, you it's, it's really painful for the other person because you dig up the past or the other person digs up the past and you're always fighting about what's gone wrong in the past and not addressing the present. And that's why probably I got, I could see thorns, you know, as a visual, the moment I saw this, I saw thorns and I was like, yeah, the relationship is there. There is a, you know, it was loving at some time, but there's so many problems in there, you know, and thorns hurt, you know, so the, Probably they were hurtful words or a hurtful behavior because, you know, it's like how thorns prick. So you you felt that in your heart, you know. There's a very different reading. The pile number three is very different. And I feel kind of sad and I feel kind of, you know, uh, I feel it in my heart also when I, because I pick up energies and I feel this is like, you know, you're so hurt with the hurtful words and, and totally burdened in your heart somewhere. So guys, for some of you, there is abundance. So if you let go, I mean, there is there is something more beautiful waiting for you. I feel there is something better coming your uh, better person going to come your way. Because look at the card when I was shuffling. I saw deception at the end. Was it because of deception you did not confront the person? You could not confront the person thinking that the person might leave you? But uh, I, I feel uh, could be a let go. That's what the angels are saying. Or let go of anything negative in the relationship. Remember, this is a gen reading. Let go could be an answer to uh, anything you are not wanting to hold on to. Could be, you know, a, a toxic relationship, a toxic person. Or could be negative thoughts in a in a relationship. You know, you know, you know it well because you're listening to it and you're in that situation. Maybe children are involved. And that's probably, um, you do not know whether to be in the relationship or you know divorce or is there a divorce happening or you know what will happen to the kids worried about the kids the custody of the kids but definitely i'm sure you are you've got kids you know or it's either could be it could be also a message that you both are behaving like kids and you both behave like kids and this is what happened to the relationship i mean fell fell apart look at this at the end end of the deck release your ex guys Look at this. Look at how sad you are. The sad the person is, you know. It's almost like broken and almost like tried doing everything in the relationship, but it did not heal. Look at this. And look at this, what came in my hand. Unrequited love. You are not loved. I don't know if this is about deception here because I did not get the card or I did. I mean, I was shuffling and I saw it. 
but this is definitely you know this is very hurtful look at papers or probably you've got the divorce papers ready look at what she's holding in her hands and she's reading something or probably she read a message or probably you read a message you you're the person you read a message and you're like oh the the guy or the girl is deceiving me you know if you're a man listening to this you probably you know read and you're like oh she's been deceiving me somebody sending a notice to someone or it's like a notice you know that i know what you did wrong and let's not be together oh man lots of them fell but this is definitely a one kind of a reading release your ex under quitted love oh my god guys do you really want me to take out more cards look at this free yourself from the 48 or 58 cards that i have in this deck i don't know how many i do not remember but look at what i'm getting look at what i'm getting i'm getting all this and it's in front of you guys release your ex free yourself let go look at these cards and i think it's you've not been loved enough there is no love left in the relationship the children children involved maybe in the relationship you got a notice there's been a notice of divorce or any any other notice but you got to free yourself i mean you're dying to free yourself i mean it's kind of restricting the the message that i get and the feeling that i get getting restricted and you know wanting to break away and you know it's like being in a circus you thought your life was a circus i mean does it make sense it's like you almost thought you know it was like a circus and just drama and i just want to you know you just want to jump out you can but you took time or you're going to take time let's see if one of these sun signs do come up you could be dealing not with a cancer because this came reversed let me see i'm going to shuffle again and see what it is gemini could be dealing with a gemini you're a gemini libra these cards came in the beginning also gemini libra could be a cancerian there's a child here but i'm not very sure i'm going to take on one more card and a taurus so you could be one of these signs or you could be dealing with any of these signs not necessarily these remember this is just a general reading and i just took out these signs but definitely some of these signs earth air water fire Let's see what the everyday witch tarot is saying. This is kind of a pile that makes me sad because I feel it was a good relationship. It started well, but you know, it did fall out. And especially probably when you had the second child or it was about kids. Definitely about kids. Yep, look at this. Waiting, wondering. Nine of swords. Fed up with the fight. Given up all the swords. It's almost like, you know, you've been dreaming of fighting or things like that. Or it's a nightmare for you. You're wondering what you did. Uh, you, you're you looking, it's like almost being sick, you know, and uh, not being able to sleep. Look at the appearance. It's a new day. There's a bird chirping here. There, there's a, that's a new day happening. I mean, you did, I think you suddenly realized one day when you got up and said things are not right. You knew things weren't right, but you're like... I've put all my swords, no more daggers in the relationship, nothing, no more fights. It's better to give up because I cannot deal with this. And look what I've done to myself. It's kind of a self-realization here in this pile. And you're like, let me get up and just, you know, um, put an off to this or, you know, I do not want this person in my life. I get a young person, I told you, somebody who did mess up with your heart. Look at this, put your heart on fire and moved on. You know, it was like a magical relationship. And you were, you were pretty captivated by the person, you know, the person was captivating and you were pretty much attracted and attracted to the person, magnetic personality. It's like almost, you know, they did magic. It's like they had, it was, their eyes were magical. I get very dark eyes. I mean, either you have very dark eyes or they have very dark eyes. Dark brown. I mean, but, but they set everything on fire. I mean, made you feel everything and went away without committing or just went on you know with no cares in the world and they just gave you a look from far away i mean they didn't even bother things will change for you are told things will change for you because you're going to change things for yourself you're going to free yourself here this is about 40 next 48 hours so things are going to change you're going to get up and say enough is enough probably they stay in your home and you'll be like get out of my home get out of my heart you know you made you made a, a place in my 
hard. I, I do not need you there. Just get out. I'm, I'm going to move on. Or you moved out of the, or, or the house. Probably you were staying together or something. If you were not married, even if it was a live-in. Be like, I'm done with it. I'm moving on. And you're pretty confident now. You One day you did get up and realized things are not right. Yep, all that fighting. You got to move on. This card jumped in my hand. Yep, I feel you were dealing with somebody who did not listen to you. They had their own way of doing things. Uh, didn't, did not really care about what you did. I mean, this is, this is them ruling. Remember we had that BSRF? So this person has been ruling you. I mean, he has he has his own way. You could be uh, you could be going around with somebody much older than you are. I get a ten years difference. I get a eight years difference. There could be a difference. I mean, age difference between you two. But they they they've been telling you what to do. Look at this and look at the look on the face. They've been uh, kind of staring which direction <laughs> should the relationship go, or you know, they've been um, controlling you. So those those are the messages for you guys. Remember, this is a general reading. Do take action or whatever you think is right or wrong. You know, do not do anything when I say, when when you see all these cards, you know the best. I mean, sometimes you come uh, come to tarot readers or you come to psychics just to know what you were thinking and what's what's right or what's wrong. And we can just give you um, clarity in that. In the end, the decision is yours because like I said, you're in the, the situation more than we are. So thank you so much, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the reading, and I'll be back with another reading soon. Thank you, guys. Bye. Have a nice day.